morning on the day before the U.S. holiday. I'm, I'm glad to see we have a good crew here, so thank you very much. Uh, we are doing the group conversation for uh, strategic marketing. Uh, please uh, note we are live streaming on YouTube uh, now, uh, so keep that in mind, as well as please enter any questions that you have um, into the agenda doc, uh, which is linked in the invitation for you. Um, so we'll get going. Um, William, <laughs> can you present some slides that you're excited to share about? I can. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's, you know what, I will, let me pop open the slides really fast. And uh, let's see here. Before we do that, Tina, like, let's take yeah. some of the questions. Like Emily has a question. Um, Emily, if you want to verbalize it. Yeah, happy to. I saw Tanuki Adventure on my Twitter feed. It looked really cool. I see, I saw a mention of it just now in one of the slides, but do you want to talk more about what that was? Yes, I would love to talk more about what that was. It's very near and dear to my heart. <laughs> so um, we have done the Tanuki Adventure um, for the entire year at KubeCon. So it was in uh, KubeCon Barcelona in May of 2019, as well as the San Diego KubeCon. Um, and uh, basically what it is, is we have collected uh, 14 of our partners, uh, both cloud providers and or partners that we have integrations with. Uh, so if you kind of go to slide um, <clears throat> 11, you will see uh, some of the details there. But basically uh, what I also did to add into the game is we give all these pins out to each of the 14 resellers and we send people out on their uh, this game day journey where they go and they visit all of our partners, ask about the integration, perhaps maybe we're on their marketplace. So they'll go up to say, for instance, DigitalOcean and say, hey, are, you know, how do you partner with GitLab? And DigitalOcean will say, hey, you know, we have them on our one-click app uh, marketplace, and this is how it works. Let me show you. Lots of our partners were doing demos with um, GitLab in their booths. Uh, in return, they get a pin. Once they collect all 14 pins, we ask that they post it on social media with the hashtag uh, Tanuki Adventure. A couple of the highlights you'll see on that slide there, uh, some of the impressions. This is specifically the impressions and uh, potential reach is for the hashtag only, just does not include the whole uh, live event in all the tweeting that we did throughout the entire event on, on the at GitLab handle. Um, and one of, you know, from my standpoint, thanks to Kristen and our, um, on our social media team, who is very new and very amazing, um, we were able to locally trend as well at about 5.30 p.m. local time in San Diego uh, with all of the activity that we were seeing around the Tanuki adventure. That's awesome. Sounds like a, a really good thing. And I saw how excited people were in the tweets that I saw. So, Yeah, some of the highlights, um, you know, not to go into so much detail in this one area, but some of the highlights were as we were getting people to return to get their final pin, uh, they were saying, wow, thank you so much for doing this because I would have never stopped by X, Y, and Z partners. And I really see that they have a you know, tremendous amount of value with the GitLab solution and their solution. So it was actually a very fun thing to watch. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Yeah, Tina, I've got the next one. Uh, while some folks are continuing to enter uh, questions in the doc. I was wondering if you could just present a slide or two, something that you are uh, you're particularly proud about or excited about from this uh, past section. From the past section, so um, I think wow, nothing like put me on the spot. Um, for all of strategic marketing, I think that um, you know in our short time frame from our last group conversation, I would say that, um, which for us was only four weeks, when I look at just the entirety of the top three results on slide five uh, that we have around all five of our disciplines, I think we have done an amazing job and, in delivering some things. Sorry, and, and if you show this, can you share the screen if you show this, if you talk about a slide yeah, for the yeah. folks on YouTube? Awesome, thanks. All right, just give me a second here. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know why this will not allow me to do this. 
I'm happy hey, to share Ashish, the slide for yeah, you. Can yeah, you, can you share it for me? Thanks. I yep. Something is not working correctly. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, so this is uh, slide five is the one. If you look at what we've accomplished in the last um, four weeks um, ac across all the disciplines, I think it's um, some pretty amazing stuff. I know we've all been super busy. So I would say that that to me is the highlight. And then if you go to slide eight, um, Ashish, the sheer volume of um, of what product marketing and the events that is supported is actually very, very astounding as well. Uh, we've had people, you know, contributing and helping out in all these different events across the globe, which again is a, is a pretty, pretty astonishing number if you ask me. Those are the, those were, those would be my highlights. Ashish, do you have any others? Um, I think uh, we made good strides even with some of the analyst relations. Um, uh, area, especially the, you know, we had some very meaningful deep dive inquiries, as well as some uh, submissions to major reports. I don't know if Colin is online. I'd like for him to kind of lead us through that. If not, you know, Joyce. I did see one of them on the call, but if not, I can move on. Yeah, I'm here, Ashish. Thanks. Yeah, there you go. Hi. Hi. So yes, um, in, in the last four weeks, uh, we've been fairly busy since the last call we had. Um, <clears throat> we've gotten uh, two major analyst reports that we've been in. Um, one was the, the MQ for um, ARO application. Uh, I'm sorry, it's early in the are morning. We, release <laughs> orchestration. We're, Thank are you we, so are, much. Are we, are we streaming public? We are. If we are Yes, we are. Dan and I am aware of that. Okay, um, I'm making sure. Yeah, and we were also in the Forrester wave um, for uh, cloud CI tools, which is looking specifically at the SaaS markets and how CI tools are growing. Um, we continue to have ongoing work um, with the analysts and continue to participate in their reports, and we look forward to talking about that in the future. Um, we've also been attending a couple of the shows. Um, we did the Gartner IT symposiums, both in the US and EMEA, and um, getting ready to be in, a couple, in, a, in another Gartner show here shortly, and uh, doing a lot of, of work around that. Um, and so one, one, ahead, one other thing I'll say is these areas that we're getting into, um, if you look at Cloud CI, that's in our core area, but focusing on the SaaS version of it, um, and certainly application release orchestration is also an area GitLab's been in for a while. But I think you're gonna see over time that we're participating um, in, in areas that cover a greater um, part of the, of the GitLab uh, tool chain as we go forward. Thanks Joyce. One of the things I wanna highlight and I'd like Dan to speak to it is we've been doing a lot of work with um, technical partnerships. And uh, these are very leading cutting edge kind of uh, new technologies. A good example is Anthos. And the reason I want to highlight there is like, I want the company on a broader scale to know about these integrations as you go out in the field and talk to your prospects, as you talk to, you know, different analysts, you talk to customers. It is important to know, you know, what we are building integrations with that allows us to work with these other technologies. Dan, if you can take like, you know, 60 seconds to talk about some of the things you've been working on, that'd be sure. great. Um, and it's really the team's been doing a great job. Um, uh, we're working with the alliances and partners uh, uh, team and uh, things like uh, Anthos, when, when we get the uh, papers out and when we get the uh, um, official integrations out, we'll make sure to make noise about them. Um, but uh, things like Anthos uh, with Google, um, we've also uh, been working with AWS, for example, uh, on uh, showing how we can integrate with their uh, Kubeflow uh, for uh, ML work. Um, uh, we've also been uh, helping different partners along to work with GitLab itself so they can show what they have working with GitLab um, uh, partners that were like in the Tanuki Adventure, like Susi and, uh, um, and, and others. So. A lot of work around there, and then, as you can imagine, all partnering with all of the, the the big cloud providers as well uh, to be able to show GitLab using uh, their services and vice versa. 
so as we get uh, th these will when 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 the work comes to uh, fruition we'll have uh, white papers and uh, and uh, uh, blogs uh, and, and videos and demos that will come out uh, based on that work so we'll make sure you guys are aware of those yeah, Dan, that is, um, I mean, it, it's been, I, I know that from a alliances partnership standpoint, it's been a lot of, of work, but the team has delivered some amazing uh, demos as a result. Um, and we do appreciate all the work that you've done. <laughs> um, also, you know, what, Ashish, I, I forgot to mention um, one thing um, that we did do, which is, um, that we should probably announce to everybody because I think it's su super cool and super important, which is the Finos open source project. Uh, so Finos is the FinTech open source uh, foundation, uh, specifically around the financial industry. Um, and uh, to date, all their open source projects have been uh, hosted on GitHub. Uh, they had an event on December 9th, uh, which we sort of, um, hopefully took over. Uh, we had our branded um, um, logos on all of the lanyards, as well as we had a booth on site. And the big announcement there is that Goldman Sachs is putting their and running an open source project called Alloy Platform, uh, and they're going to run it on GitLab. So it will literally be the first open source project for the, the foundation uh, that will be running on GitLab and you will see a lot more around this. This is a huge thanks to Goldman Sachs as being a great customer and an investor. And um, there is a link in, in the slides for the press release around that. Um, I think Q1 of calendar year 2020 is when uh, they will actually, you know, people will be able to start contributing to that project. And just want to make a small correction. The event oh. was on November 20th. Uh, December 9th is another financial Oh, event. sorry. It, all in, yes. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Um, so I need to update question. the slide. <laughs> Let's go to the question. And on the, uh, just, I'll chime in with one more uh, partner, some partner work that we've done, technical partner work. Uh, Tina, a bunch of the team, our product team. So uh, this past week at KubeCon, we did a couple of partner joint announcements. Uh, one was with Upbound. And we co-hosted with them Multi Cloud Con Day, which was a day zero event before uh, KubeCon, Cloud Native Con. And uh, the event went really well. During that day, uh, and in the 12.5 release, we also announced an integration with Upbound. So Upbound shipped a feature in GitLab, which is a new technology cross-plane, which allows you to, uh, it's, a, it's a single control plane for multiple clouds to manage manage services on multiple clouds through a single control plane that is now integrated into GitLab, where uh, you can install it as a uh, as a clickable app from the Kubernetes integration. We shipped that with 12.5. We uh, did a day together an announcement during uh, KubeCon, and all of that was uh, very successful as well. And a large team effort, not just from strategic marketing, but you know product, AR, PR. Uh, or AR's part of strategic marketing, but um, a lot of folks across GitLab all came together for, for that event and that announcement. And I think John is uh, next up on the uh, questions. Thanks, William. Um, before I ask my question, I just wanted to say thank you to Joyce. She arranged a great call with um, a few analysts for me and Ray yesterday to discuss diversity in the community. And it was um, really insightful and also um, really inspiring. So thank you, Joyce, for setting that up. Um, my question is around, you know, it's that previous question, you know, you guys were all talking about, um, you know, the successes you've had recently. I'm curious, you know, which of these kind of initiatives, whether it's, you know, the work with analysts or, you know, specific events perhaps or gated content or kind of whatever it might be, um, are delivering the most results for your group? Um, that you're planning to kind of build on and replicate and invest more in in 2020? So I can, um, John, that's a really great uh, kind of forward thinking question. So I appreciate that. It's usually not something that we would do in, you know, like on a slide, uh, but I'm happy to cover, you know, because we sort of have these five disciplines from my standpoint on the partner side, I think that, um, we will continue to work very strongly and closely with 
all of our, you know, sort of tier one or high priority um, partners, uh, technology partners, including, you know, AWS and Google. And, you know, we've done a lot of lessons learned around what events regionally that the field team has been working and how well we've been executing at the corporate events like AWS reInvent and Google Next. We will continue that to hone in on, you know, understanding sort of um, what are the, the strategic sponsorship levels that we should do from a cost you know, pipe uh, perspective. Uh, we'll continue with that. We will continue with things on the partner side like the Tanuki Adventure. Um, it really helps us to project out to the, the world um, that we have really good partnerships and we will continue to do that as well. Um, that is a big theme for us in 2020 is making sure not only that we're executing at the partner levels, and executing at all the events, but really ensuring that everybody, you know, around us out there in the world understands that we are, you know, GitLab is a good company to partner with and, and, and do integrations with. All right, I'll, I'll answer some of the other um, aspects of it. So we're also gonna focus, like I think John mentioned here, John's on a cruise, so it's amazing that he's actually putting in an answer here. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, all of you are aware that uh, we did a new um, kind of reset of our messaging and training of the you know messaging that we came up with, uh, with the help of force management. So we continue to uh, operationalize that, but. The big challenge is, you know, as we are growing really rapidly, how do we percolate that and so that everybody understands that. So we'll be putting a lot of focus on that. We'll be iterating on that every quarter and making sure that, you know, the entire company from product to sales to, you know, finance, everybody understands that and everybody, you know, uh, works with that uh, framework. Uh, we are pivoting um, also on our go-to-market model uh, to a use case based uh, market model. And it's in the handbook. We've talked about it before. And if you don't know about it, you can link it from here. But looking at, you know, what problems our customers are looking to solve so that we can map to those problems and therefore help them with our GitLab offerings, right? That's the idea uh, with use case based uh, go to market model. Um, continue to do stronger and better rankings on analyst reports. So we have made it into a lot of analyst reports into MQ magic quadrants or wave reports. Now, you know, the, 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 obviously the objective is not only do we continue to do that, but the ones that we made it in with the help of product, with the help of, you know, every other aspect that we need to work with, do better on those. Try to reach top rankings or, you know, near top rankings across all of these. Um, continue to have broader, deeper coverage with customers because at the end of the day, they are the true champions of our, you know, uh, GitLab product. They're the voice we should be talking on our behalf um, all the time. So, you know, working in conjunction with the community team, um, you know, get more customers, more advocates out there speaking on our behalf. And, um, and on the competitive intelligence side, we're starting to kind of do more depth on the top competitors to help our sales teams and our partner teams. And we're also looking at the next iterations, iterations of our comparisons on the public website. How do we make them more consumable? Uh, starting to look at you know what uh, what comparisons have what traction and what are people interested in, what are we missing that we need to add, how do we keep to keep it up to date, etc. So a lot of kind of like interesting challenges and um, a kind of interesting things to work on for the strategic marketing team next year. Um, Todd, you're on the call too. Anything you know we might have missed? You want to comment on? I don't have to comment. Uh, you guys have done a great job of sort of saying uh, what you're up to. Um, I wanted to hear from Mahesh, if possible, just to sort of get a, a sense for the improvement that's made on, on um, Crayon. Um, and kind of, you know, since you've gotten here, what, what, what have you seen and, and done uh, relative to Crayon and our competitive, um, I guess, profiles or whatever we call them for sales. Sure, thanks Todd. So as far as Crayon is concerned, the major improvement there we have done is we've a single source of truth, all the competitive information into Crayon. Previously we had like some information in Crayon, some information in slides. So we've kind of brought all of that. And so going forward, Crayon is going to be the single source of truth uh, for competitive information. 
uh, internally speaking. And then we're continuing to do you know, similar effort on the, uh, on the uh, DevOps tools landscape page and the products that it links to. So that's sort of uh, continue ongoing. Um, as far as going forward, what we are going to do, uh, I would say that you know, transitioning the whole competitive analysis from a company standpoint into a more use case standpoint. Right now, if you look at competitive analysis, it's looking at, say, for example, you know, Azure DevOps as a whole, but the conversations that we are having with customers is really around CI or CI CD, you know, so on and so forth. So we are trying to make the competitive analysis and how we talk about GitLab capabilities compared with our competitors in a more uh, use case friendly manner so that, you know, our customers can actually consume it more easily. And our sales team also has an ability to make a very, um, you know, better con have better conversations, more focused conversations on that. So there's lots more information, uh, you know, to be added there. Those are the two main things. And uh, the other um, thing I'd like to point out is the ROI model. We've uh, created an MVC of an ROI model, which is again, use case based. Um, and the difference about this ROI model is it's, it's uh, designed to be collaborative with the customers. So you get the data from the customers or work with them to get the data rather than us coming up with numbers that may or may not jive with what they are seeing, and then build a case for why GitLab that way, right? So we've tried it with a couple of customers, worked really well. They they liked it a lot, and we're starting to do that in a more uh, you know broad based uh, basis here. Is there any reason we can't publish that um, in the handbook, uh, or maybe even do a blog post about it? Sure, we could do that. Uh, it just uh, absolutely. I think right now it's ready for to be able to be published. Yeah. We could even call it work in process there as well. Sure, we'll do that. Thank you, Mahesh. Looks like we have about three more minutes. We'll give ourselves 30 seconds for anyone to enter in um, any further questions that you may have. All right, so, oh, maybe we have one. <laughs> I is. just want to say happy Thanksgiving. That's what I was going to say. Uh, you stole yes. my thunder. <laughs> <laughs> and stay safe from all the storms, everybody. Yes, yes definitely, definitely. So I think we, that is it. We will um, end. I, I wish everyone a, a very uh, happy Thanksgiving if you're in the U.S. And uh, we will see you on the next group conversation. And yes, thank you, Gina, for hosting for it. Marketing. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.